Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. It's hard to believe, but over a year ago, I did a comparison video where we compared the AquaClear 110 to the Seachem Tidal 110. We did a very extensive unboxing. I talked about the parts and the pieces and how to assemble them. If you wanna see that video, check out this video in the upper right hand corner. I will put it in the description below. But we've had these filters for over a year and now it's time to talk about which one comes out on top because at least in our fish room there is a clear winner. Hope you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. Now again, we did do the video where I did the unboxing, talk about a lot of the different specs, but some of the important things to consider as we discuss what we found over the last year. First thing, they are both designed to filter a tank that is 110 gallons or less. In terms of throughput, the Seachem title gives you a little bit less at 450 gallons per hour while the AquaClear is rated at 500 gallons per hour. They're also both very similar in their size. The Seachem Tidal is about 11 and 5 8 inches long, 7 and 3 8 inches wide, and about 9 and a half inches tall. The AquaClear, a little bit longer at 13 and a half inches. However, it's not quite as wide at 6 and 3 quarters, but it is 9 inches tall. For both of these filters, you're going to want about four inches of clearance from the back of the tank to the wall. And for both of them, you're going to want about an inch and three eighths on the rim of the tank in order for it to fit nice and snug. The other thing to consider is both filters generally have the same flow pattern where the water is going to come up through the bottom of the filter, go through all the layers of filtration, and then out of the return. By the way, if you're looking for the Seachem Tidal or the AquaClear, I do have Amazon affiliate links down in the description below if you want to check those out. Okay, so what did we find after using these filters after the last year and three months? Thing number one is they both worked relatively well. We had the Seachem title on a 125. That filter had a little bit harder work to do because the fish in this 125 are these Viejas and Spilum. Great fish, but they do tend to stir up a lot of stuff along with the electric blue Acara. The AquaClear 110, in my opinion, had a much easier role to fulfill because yes, while it was on a 125, they were smaller Lake Tanganyikan cichlids and they don't stir up the substrate as much. So it was probably a little bit easier of a task to keep that water looking clearer in the AquaClear 125. That being said, they both did a great job of mechanical filtration. In both tanks, we did have two sponge filters in addition to the hang on back filters. One difference between the two, at least visually, is you're going to see more of the Seachem Tidal in your aquarium compared to the AquaClear. The AquaClear, you've just got the intake tube. It starts out roughly almost clear and it gets a little bit of algae, but for the most part, it blends into the background. The Seachem Tidal, for the most part, does that as well, but you have to remember two things. One, you're going to have the impeller and the motor inside the tank, and two, that blue dial, is very visible inside your tank as you can see here. When it comes to performance, the Seachem Tidal for the entire time that we've had it so far has never stopped one single time. It has run every single day without fail. I cannot say the same for the AquaClear 110. There were about four to six times over the last 14, 15 months where the AquaClear did stop. Usually that was after some tank maintenance and often that impeller would just stop and I would come down and it wouldn't be running. So because the Seachem Tidal filter has the motor inside the tank, it's self-priming, which means if there is a power blip or anything like that and the filter turns back on, it's going to immediately start pulling water into the filter and it should run without any problems and that's what it did. Where the AquaClear, if there's any type of a power blip and that water goes back in the tank and the back of that filter loses suction, it sometimes doesn't restart. Maintenance for both was relatively easy. I did find the Seachem Tidal 110 easier to maintain because the entire basket is easily removable, a little bit more so than the AquaClear 110 because the basket isn't one piece. You have to pull it out by the sides and it's a little bit easier for the media to kind of fall out compared to the Seachem. Another couple differences, the Seachem Tidal was a little bit quieter, but I will say that both of these filters were relatively quiet. But once again, because the motor is inside the tank for the Seachem Tidal 110, it just lends itself to being a little bit quieter than the AquaClear 110, but it was pretty close. The AquaClear was also a fairly quiet filter. 
One clear advantage the Seachem Tidal has over the AquaClear is the ability to adjust the flow. While the AquaClear does have that ability, you can slide the intake back and forth, the amount of flow you get from sliding it from one side to the other is minimal. With the Seachem Tidal 110, when you turn that dial and turn the filter flow down, it turns down significantly, so you are gonna have greater control over the gallons per hour going through your filter. Now there is one final point to consider, and this is a big one, and I've left this for last, and that is the cost. Right now on Amazon, the AquaClear 110 is around $87. That's pretty close to what it's been historically. The Seachem Tidal 110 was $67. Historically, those filters have been a little bit closer in price. Right now, there is a $20 difference. I think that is a very big difference because overall, at least in our fish room, the Seachem Tidal did a better job for us. It never stopped. It's a little bit quieter. Love the self-priming feature. And I like the ability that we can adjust that flow a little bit more than the AquaClear. However, that being said, both of them were fairly reliable. Both of them did a great job of mechanical filtration. But when you consider that extra $20 premium that you were paying currently for the AquaClear 110, I'm not sure I can justify that extra $20 given the enhanced reliability of that Seachem Tidal 110. Once again, if you want more information, check out the original unboxing and go into a lot more detail of the filters themselves and how they're constructed. If you want more information on filtration, check out these videos in the upper and lower left-hand corner as well as in the description below. Would love to hear from you. What is your experience with both of these filters? How do you like them if you've had them? Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one.